Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how I completed the Star Wars challenge in Pragyan CTF 2017. It's a stegography challenge and a hint was given. This problem is designed for blind person. In any stegography challenge, what you should do is first check if there is any data hidden in the image by changing the color and layer properties. Stegsolve is a great application for this scenario. Let's start Stegsolve. Click on file, open and select the file. Use those button below to get different interpretation of the same image and it changes the plane, planes color levels and it shows any data which is hidden by, by changing the image color or, or uh, using the plane, different planes in the image. There is nothing interesting here. So let's move on. So next what you to try to do is open it up using any text editor. So let's right click open with Vim. It shows all kind of garbage there and it shows some strings as well. So here there are two strings. Basically in all the CTF challenges they would actually append the string to the end of, end of the image because it doesn't disturb uh, the image file. It doesn't corrupt the image file. So let's go down. Here is a binary string there. So this is what is most interesting. So let's close it up. We can get it by other means as well using the strings tool. You can give strings and the file name. Enter. And it shows the st all the strings in the file. So here uh, in, in this challenge there was a clue right. It, this challenge is especially for the blind person. So let's Google that. Uh, Google language for blind. It shows a braille. Let's see how braille is interpreted. Each character is represented by six dots. So for a sentence to be formed by your binary string, the length of the string should be divisible by six. So let's start up Python or we can do it manually. S equal to the string and len of S. It gives us 54. It is divisible by six. So let's split it into small strings of length 6. There are 9 substrings. So range 0 to 9. Print the first 6 character. And remove the first 6 character. We get substring of length 6. So let's copy it and paste it onto the gedit. Let's start decoding the braille. So I will search for braille decoder. I'll orient this so we can view it easily. So each line represents a character. So let's first do the first line now. In braille it is represented as 1 0 0 sorry 0 
वन वन जीरो सो द इमेज द रेप्रसेंट दिस विल बी वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो दिस वन लेट्स क्लिक दिस वन एंड गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन वन नॉट वन एंड जीरो वन जीरो सर्च फॉर दैट वन It should be right here. Yeah, here it is. One zero one zero one zero. We do the same to the all the other characters. I'll skip here now. Now here finish everything. So let's click the de decrypt. So here is the result. Door do not. Unfortunately, this was not the flag. Uh, it was some kind of intermediate flag. so the next thing when it comes to segnography is steg hide so steg hide is a software by which we can hide files to images so let's open up a terminal type steg hide so for extracting we use steg hide extract and for uh, embedding a file we use steg hide embed so for now we need to get extract to extract the file from uh, uh, from the image first let's try out with a blank pass phrase as expected it doesn't fetch any files so let's paste the do do not paste it doesn't work because actually it was on the uh, cap capital letters and braille system does not have differentiate between capital and small letter so let's type out in the small letter do do not enter here you go wrote file data to flag.txt let's cat the file on taking the first look i knew it was base64 so i co so let's copy it copy it and go to ascii to hex to decode the base64 so let's paste it on the base64 section and click on convert there you go we found the flag become a jd master you will so there was another challenge in the pragyan ctf which was much more easier it was the transmission dot uh, png so i solved it using steg sol so let's clear it first so gava minus jar steg sol well, let's go to file open transmission.png let's click on the next button here you go the flag is cooper brand so when you get a stegography challenge first go for the steg solve and then try for steg hide with uh, no pass pass phrase then if that that doesn't work out you have to find more clues and there are lot of there are lots of tools out there you should definitely try them out and it's all about experimentation guys that's it guys click over here to watch my last video and i'll be doing a lot of videos so like subscribe and stay tuned bye